All right, in this video, I've got two microphones for you that I'm going to be reviewing on which one I like better. Both of them are both under $110. Alright, so in this video I got for you a review of those two microphones, and to start out the video I'm going to record without the microphones attached to show you the difference in the three audio types straight out of camera, one with the Rode and one with the Pixel. So first I'll start off with pros and cons of each microphone. Pro and con, they're both under $110 roughly after taxes. The Rode microphone here is $99 before taxes, so I think it comes in just a little under $110. I don't remember. I don't like to think about it. Next is the Pixel MC650 microphone. It comes in at around, I want to say it was $40. Let me, let me look back and check. It was $39.99 on Amazon. So, pro and con. I like this microphone because it's under $50. So it's a it's a good little starter. One thing I like about it is you have a flexible cord that you can plug into just about anywhere and it doesn't it doesn't move around on you. I can plug it into my computer and I can use it to record like voiceover audio. You have settings right here. You have your volume settings, so you have minus 10 to make it make it a little softer. You have plus 10 to make it a little louder. I like to keep it around zero when I'm shooting like this so it doesn't blow out the audio but you can still hear me. You have your on and off switch and you have super cut which is supposed to cut back on background noise. Now it doesn't come with this little stand, but this stand came with something else I ordered, but it works good for this microphone. I can also use it on the Rode microphone because it has a little, uh, a little uh, thread at the bottom of it where you can put one. With the Rode microphone with the cable on it, it's coiled, so it can only stretch so far. So if you have it on a stand, unless you have a plug in one of those cables, if you're just using the cable that comes in the box with it, it you can't really stretch it that far without it tipping over. So it's it's not really a con, it's more of an inconvenience. Talking about more pros and cons with the Pixel microphone. It plugs into the camera or straight into the computer, but it runs off two AA batteries. So pro to it, you can just change out the batteries. Con to it, you have to change out the batteries. With the Rode microphone, it has no batteries. It plugs straight into your camera. Now, pro and con to this, pro, it doesn't run on batteries. Con, it doesn't run on batteries because it runs off your camera battery, so when your camera dies, it dies. Pro to this, when your camera dies, it dies. So with the Pixel, if the battery dies and you're in the middle of recording, your audio's gone. Not gone, but all of a sudden, you'll hear nice crisp audio, and then all of a sudden, you hear what you're hearing now. Not very good. Whereas with this, you just change out the camera battery and you're good. Either way, you could change out a battery, but it seems less of an inconvenience to just change out the camera battery. Just runs your battery down faster. With the Pixel, it does come with a dead cap, and it comes with 
this one here I like keeping the dead cat on there just because I have a fish tank going in the background here I don't know if you can hear it or not and it kind of cuts down on some of that background noise so now I'm gonna do a review with the microphones attached and so you can see how the audio differs so right now this is with just straight out of camera microphone and this is with the Rode microphone attached now, I don't know how the sound quality sounds to you but to me I like the sound quality on the Rode a lot better than just straight out of camera so tell me what you think if you think the audio is a major difference or not and now we'll plug in the Pixel MC650 and we'll see how its audio sounds alright and this is with the Google MC650 now you can tell me if you think the audio sounds drastically different or if it sounds about the same or if it just doesn't sound very good at all for me I like I said I like to run it on the zero setting because it just seems to be it doesn't seem too blown out and it doesn't seem too uh, soft or the volume doesn't sound too low should I say but I'll change the settings so you, you you can hear the difference so this is at minus 10 it probably dropped the volume down quite a bit and you probably have to turn your volume up a lot and this is at plus 10 so it probably sounds drastically louder so now you're probably having to turn your volume down but tell me what you think like I said I like running it at zero it just seems to sound a little clearer Alright, so if I had to pick a winner for this video, I would probably pick the Rode microphone because the sound quality on it just sounds a lot crisper and a lot clearer and it doesn't sound like it echoes as much and that could probably be fixed, but I don't know how to edit audio all that much. But tell me what you think. I'll leave the links in the description of both microphones. If you would, like and subscribe. Tell me what you want to see in the next video and that's it for now.